it's August and I'm just getting ready to leave for home uh, to spend August in Wyoming. But before I go, I'm going to show you a video you just have to see of Doug Collins of Georgia's statement on the floor of the House uh, to explain his support for the reforms in the Endangered Species Act that we passed successfully on the floor this week. Doug was a member of the Endangered Species Act working group that I co-chaired. You'll see why he was so effective. Take a look. The problem with the Endangered Species Act, however, is that it's expanded to where now the endangered species is jobs. It is people. It is the people who are affected by the Endangered Species Act. And all we're saying is, let's shine a little light on it. I think there's some songs back from when the ASA was first developed. You know, let's, shine, you know, let's shine light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Well, let's shine a little bit of light on this as we go forward. You know, one of the things that, a no vote on this legislation to me is simply a no vote, whether it's the rule or the bill, it's just a no vote for the status quo. And if there's anything that this country is screaming, whether it's Republican or Democrat, they're tired of the status quo, and especially in something like this, because when they hear about it, they don't understand it. And I'm going to tell a, a, a little story. And the little story comes from Georgia. And it involves, though, a friend from Indiana called the Indiana Bat. The Indiana bat, on the endangered species list, a few years ago, uh-oh, be quiet. A few years ago, a transmitter went off. It was a little beep. Uh-oh, you might hear it on your phone. It was a beep in southern Tennessee. It only went off one time from everything that we can gather. But that transponder hit, said the Indiana bat is moving south. Well, we expanded the net and saying nothing north of Atlanta, we've got it all of a sudden, we've got to start checking for the Indiana bat. We've checked. We've looked. I have it on my phone here. I brought one to the floor today. I have a compass. I have a map. I asked this before and nobody stepped forward, but I'll take my compass, I'll take my mouth, and if you help me come to northeast Georgia and find the Indiana bat, there's probably a prize. I'll take you to the Waffle House and buy you whatever you want. Because so far, it hasn't been found. In fact, the last time the Indiana bat was actually seen in Georgia was in Athens in the 40s. Now, Athens is a home to a wonderful, fine, upstanding institution called the University of Georgia. Go dogs. But it was probably found or seen maybe on after one of the celebrations of our great victories on Saturday on the gridiron when everyone is partying. And they may have saw the Indiana bat and said, there's the bat, but we haven't seen it since. So I'm not sure what we're looking for. But I tell you what we are doing. We're paying almost $100,000 on every road project over and above the cost for hard-earned taxpayer dollars on the federal and state level looking for a bat that may have existed in a fraternity party in Athens 45, 50, 60 years ago because nobody knows. But it came because, listen, listen, those in the gallery, those watching on TV, listen, the transponder may go off. And we may just block off all kinds of areas to say, pay more, because the transponder went off. Now, many times our friends across the aisle say, we just, uh, on our side, we just want business and we don't care about endangered species. We don't care about the, the environment. There's no other Republican. You come to the 9th District of Georgia. I know my friend from Colorado feels that his state is beautiful, and it is. It's great. But the 9th District of Georgia is pretty nice, too. And I want clean water, I want good roads, I want the things that all matter because the environment in North Georgia is great. But what I do not want is an overreaching regulation that's not addressed when we're simply asking for transparency. My question not only is where's the bat, but where's the problem? Where's the bat? Where's the problem? The problem with this bill is nothing. The problem with this bill is it begins to shine light on the things that need shining light on disinfectant. I'm not sure what we're doing here because right now there's no disinfectant. We need transparency to shine a light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine on something that protects taxpayer dollars, that protects transparency, and does the things it's supposed to do. And by the way, if you happen to be coming by, the problem with this, it just simply is transparency. It protects taxpayer dollars and protects endangered species by using the latest in science and being open to the public. But let me ask for all who are maybe watching, 
If you're driving through the great state of Georgia, if you're in North Georgia in the ninth district, I've got a lot of places for you to come. But when you get there, bring your binoculars. Bring your compass. Bring a map. And if you find the bat, I'll see you at Waffle House. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.